move on to this developing story. 16 people, including 13 children, were hurt when a church bus flipped. And now the big question is whether this crash could have been prevented. KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan is live in East Harris County with who tried to help the victims of this tragedy. Rowan, good morning. Good morning, neighbors. Neighbors helping neighbors here rushing to the bus to try and pull some of them out. Now, officials say the age ranges of those children involves a 16-year-old to the youngest, just one years old. Now, we're told by a spokesperson with the church that all of them are in stable condition. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said he believes the driver of the bus of the Mount Zion Baptist Church's passenger bus was speeding and unable to control their speed as they were getting near a curve down the road, flipping the bus on its right side. People who live in the area witness the crash, say people frequently speed down this stretch of roadway. They now hope something gets done about it. The same witness rushed to help the people on board the bus. We just, you know, heard a big boom and we got to the balcony and I called 911 and that's when I was like, I heard screaming, the kids yelling, help, help. My husband, we were just talking about it, saying that, you know, they, do, they need to put speed bumps there because you never know, you know, there's kids, there's school buses that come by here too and people just driving fast. In a tweet, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said that it doesn't appear that the driver of the bus was under was impaired at all. Uh, the ch a church spokesperson also adds that that driver is a volunteer who did undergo a background check as the investigation to how this all unfolded remains open. Reporting live, Roman Belogan, KPRC 2 News.